Yosef Tov. I'm Stephen Bendanoon, and you're watching Israeli News Live. Today we have more breaking news coming out of Israel. In fact, some of the news is not very well known, but Israel has deployed three nuclear-capable submarines off the coast of Iran in the Persian Gulf. It was actually reported today in the Times, uh, the Sunday Times. It says here that Israel is to deploy three submarines equipped with nuclear cruise missiles in the uh, Persian Gulf. The Sunday Times reported on Sunday, according to the Times report, one submarine had been sent over Israeli uh, fears that ballistic missiles developed by Iran in the possession of Syria and in the possession of Syria and Hezbollah could be used to hit strategic sites within Israel, such as an air base and missile launchers. Uh, the Sunday Times quotes the IDF official saying, the three German-made long-range submarines will, will gather intelligence and act as a deterrent of a potential land and, and potentially land Mossad agents. Uh, Dolphin, which are the names of the submarines, Dolphin, Tukum, Tukum and Leviathan, all German-made Dolphin-class submarines of the 7th Navy flotilla have been reported as frequenting the Gulf in the past. However, according to the Sunday Times, report this new deployment is meant to ensure a permanent naval presence in the near, uh, in the near, excuse me, presence near the Iranian coastline. Uh, a flotilla officer told the Times that the deployment submarines were meant to act as a deterrent and gather intelligence and potentially land uh, Mossad agents. We are a solid base for collecting sensitive information and we can stay for a long time in one place, the officer said. So only imagine what will actually take place next. We certainly are living in precarious times nonetheless. In other news, the Times of Israel is reporting Netanyahu quoting him as saying the PA unity government will strengthen Terra. That will be forming on Monday, uh, something that uh, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has spo uh, spoke of opposition on and is asking the world community to boycott any such unity government by the Palestinian Authority and Hamas. Uh, the, uh, the Times of Israel goes on to report, as ahead of official declaration of the new Fatah Hamas leadership, Prime Minister calls on international community to boycott the Palestinian Authority. Uh, they also said that Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu on Sunday condemned the Fatah Hamas unity government the day before the slated announcement of, of, of its formation and urged the international community not to recognize the new entity. Of course, unfortunately, the whole world has turned against Israel, so no doubt they will be accepted with open arms. A terrorist organization uniting with the Palestinian Authority, which is just another terrorist organization. Uh, goes on to say Hamas is a terrorist organiza uh, organization that calls for the destruction of Israel, the Prime Minister said at the weekly cabinet meeting. Uh, this, speaking of the unity government, will not strengthen peace Rather, it will strengthen terror, he said. Netanyahu appealed to the responsible officials in the international community not to rush to recognize a Palestinian government that rules on Hamas, or excuse me, relies on Hamas. Palestinian Authority President Mahmoud Abbas said Saturday the formation of the new Palestinian government would be declared Monday, adding that Israel already warned him it would take punitive steps against the new alliance. Abbas said Saturday that he would respond to any Israeli punitive measures, measures such as withholding the monthly transfer of some of 100 million in taxes and customs Israel collects on behalf of the Palestinians. Authority, the funds are vital to keeping the self-rule government afloat. The long-running uh, Hamas Fatah rivalry escalated in 2007 when Hamas seized the Gaza Strip from the internationally backed Abbas in 2007. Hamas, which has carried out scores of bombings, shootings, and rocket attacks against Israel's, Israeli civilians, is considered a terror group by Israel and the West. We'll just have to wait to see whether or not Barack Obama will side with Prime Minister Netanyahu. That will be something interesting. I'm Stephen Ben-Danoon, and you are watching Israeli News Live. Good evening.